The Internet in Croatia became a reality in November 1992 when the first international connection linking Zagreb and Vienna became operational. By 2016 an estimated 74.2% of the Croatian population was using the Internet from home, work, and school as well as from their mobile phones. Topic. Facts and figures Top level domain, our, administered by the Croatian Academic and Research Network Carne. Internet users 3.17 million users 2016 2.8 million users, 80th in the world, 63.0% of the population, 59th in the world, 2012 2.2 million users 2009 1.7 million Facebook users 2016 769,317 households 50.6% 2011 fixed broadband 909,090 subscriptions 58th in the world 20.3% of the population 48th in the world 2012 Wireless broadband, 2.3 million subscribers, 60th in the world, 52.3% of the population, 26th in the world, 2012. Internet hosts, 729,420 hosts, 50th in the world, 2012. IPv4, 2.0 million addresses allocated, less than 0.05% of the world total, 455.9 addresses per 1,000 people, 2012. Total volume of Internet traffic, 160 petabytes, Q2 2016. Topic. History The first international internet connection was established on 17 November 1992, between Carne in Zagreb and the University of Vienna, with a bandwidth of 9,600 bit s. The hour domain was first registered in March 1993. <laughs> Technologies and services Topic. Digital Subscriber Line DSL. In Croatia a DSL was introduced in 2000 by the German-owned operator TCOM, formerly HT Harvatsky Telecom, meaning Croatian Telecom. DSL is the most common form of broadband. Flat rate based plans are the most commonly used in conjunction with DSL. There are companies offering ADSL 2 Plus Internet Access and Triple Play. Local loops were expected to be unbundled after September 2006. As of 2010, this has only partially been done. ADSL and fixed line phones use the same cable plant in most parts of the country. In some locations, the line quality is not good enough to support a stable ADSL link, and in some locations, there is no ADSL supporting telephone switch installed. The list of DSL providers in Croatia is Harvatsky Telecom, owned by Deutsche Telekom, Maxadzel, with a triple play plan Max TV, nationwide. ISKCON Internet, owned by HT, part of the network is locally based in major urban areas, and partly services are run by local loop over TCOM copper lines, triple play plan ISKCON, TV, but only on the local part of the network for now. VIPnet D, O, O, owned by A1 Telecom Austria Group. Optima Telecom D, D, part of the network is locally based in major urban areas, and partly services are run by local loop over TCOM copper lines. Triple Play plan is called Opti TV. The reach for Triple Play is extended gradually. Transintercom D, O, O. Magic Telecom D, O, O. H1 Telecom D, D. Topic. WiMAX The oldest commercial WiMAX provider is, Norvinet D.O.O. 
WiMAX concessions were also given to Optima Telecom, WiMAX Telecom and Odesiljaki Ivezad, D, OIV. However, none of them has to the present day as of January 2010 realized the full potential of their concession, due to the high cost of the infrastructure which needs to be built. Also, the providers claim that there are not yet enough potential interested users for this technology. Fiber to the home FTTH. The existing fiber to the home provider, Metronet Telecomunikasi JD, D. TCOM, is performing a trial that is expected to take a few years' time, to see the potential for nationwide coverage using FTTH technology. In mid-2009 a 28-floor building in Ridgeacre was equipped with FTTH providing triple play as a test site. Supposedly in three further cities similar tests are being run. Topic. Cable Internet Cable Internet is available, but it is not as widespread as ADSL. There is one cable internet provider in Croatia, B.net Harvatska D, O, O, also with a triple play offer. Topic. Mobile broadband Mobile broadband internet access is offered by the three national concession GSM operators T-Mobile Croatia Vipnet Vodafone partner, and Tele2 Croatia. There are both prepaid and postpaid plans. All three providers cooperate with Carne to provide a discount for users in the academic and education community. Ordered by seniority, they are named Mobile Carne, Vitmakarnet, Vitnet, Tele2 Carne, Tele2 Croatia, Stick2 Carne, T-Mobile HR. It is not mandatory to register any personal data upon purchasing a prepaid plan together with the USB-based mobile modem stick, so any foreign citizen may also get it for inland use. GSM coverage is very good, while Edge and UMTS coverage is rather sparse, as of January 2010 and the usage for higher speeds is only possible on certain, mainly urban locations and in the Adriatic Sea area. Topic. National Research and Education Network CARNE is the National Research and Education Network and a significant Internet provider for numerous end users in the academic and educational community in Croatia. Dial-up Internet The dial-up internet penetration in Croatia is still high, mainly in rural areas. This is due to the high penetration rate for fixed-line telephones throughout country. There are several providers which also offer this rather old connection method. Tcom Croatia, dial-up plans exist. Iskon Internet, the Iskon, dial-up service enables classic dial-up access, with several plans. Thipnet, their Homebox Plus offer includes which they designate as fixed line, but technically uses GSM has the plan which also offers internet access. Also, the VIP online plan exists using classic modem lines. Optima Telecom, Optinet dial-up service. Globalnet, dial-up unified login data, also possible for usage by four eigeners. There are also some smaller dial-up providers. Topic. Wireless LAN hotspots Some wireless LAN WLAN hotspots exist in Internet cafes and some cities. There are also many volunteer-driven WLAN local city networks. For example, DJ Wireless Decovo, Oswellis Osijek, Teng Nova Gradiska, and some others, they usually serve a small number of local users. Vipnet and ISKON Internet operate some hotspots commercially. Topic. 
Satellite Internet In the past, there were a few resellers of one-way satellite internet services, which mostly ceased to exist with the arrival of increased ADSL coverage and reduced interest in the service. Currently, as of 2010, there is at least one reseller of a two-way satellite internet service. However, this method of internet access is not economically viable, except for a very few very remote areas. The equipment needed is not subsidized, unlike ADSL and FTTH trial equipment. When Croatia joined the European Union in the year 2013, it became an integral part of the agenda to close the digital divide. According to official data, satellite internet coverage at the end of 2013 was 94%. <laughs> internet censorship and surveillance There is no OpenNet initiative country profile for Croatia, but it is shown as little or no evidence of Internet filtering in all areas political, social, conflict, security, and Internet tools on the only global Internet filtering maps. The constitution and law generally provide for freedom of speech and the press, however, growing economic pressures lead journalists to practice self-censorship. Hate speech committed over the Internet is punishable by six months to three years imprisonment and libel is a criminal offense. There are no government restrictions on access to the Internet or reports the government monitors email or Internet chat rooms. In general individuals and groups engage in the peaceful expression of views via the Internet, including by email. Internet access is widely available and used by citizens throughout the country. Topic. See also Telecommunications in Croatia Media of Croatia